Well, they say it's the best way for communities to cut their costs and keep their services going, municipal consolidation. But the concept is run up against something of a roadblock in some communities, which leads us to Matt Arlington right now and the longtime mayor, Art Andish, who joins us now. We welcome you back to the program. Thank are, you. are you an opponent to the concept of consolidation? I'm, yes, I am an opponent of the concept of consolidation because I don't think consolidation is the way to go. I believe in shared services. I really do. Um, it does not cost that much to have a municipal body, a governing body, and a mayor, a council, people who can keep local control and keep things accountable. I don't think there's that much of a cost to that. The cost is in your services. Mm -hmm. And if you can consolidate your services, working with neighboring communities, be as efficient as you can, I don't think it's so bad to have the municipalities the way they are today. How much different for, for the average viewer, and for me as well for that matter, how much different is the approach uh, to governing in a consolidation situation versus a shared service situation versus a standalone situation? Well, let's put it this way. Everybody seems to think bigger is better. If bigger was better, wouldn't Newark be one of the most, you know, wouldn't it be the Shangri-La? Everything should be perfect, right? And obviously we know it's not. The larger you get, I feel, the less accountable, the less uh, efficient you can be because there's just so much going on. Well, what would you be willing to share? I mean, would you we share We are sharing now. Okay. Oh, believe me, and that's why, uh, you know, you baited me with the <laughs> Gina piece because I we like Gina. We Gina Genovese on talking yes. about, and she's been involved in Matt Arlington uh, and Roxbury. Well, she's, yeah. she's come up and got herself involved, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, i got to tell you. you. Well, no, I like Gina. I mm -hmm. really do. I think Gina is, she, I think she has the best of intentions. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, she's in business and she's looking, this is a business to her, trying to bring things together. Right. And unfortunately, I, I think there's places where it doesn't belong. There may be places that it does belong, but do, in well, our do you case... Think, do you think the Princeton situation has worked out? But the Princeton's is like apples and oranges. I mean, it's different from Mount Arlington and Roxbury. The Princeton's were already sharing everything. Mm -hmm. They were even sharing schools. So, you know, the Princeton's, it made sense for them to come together. Do you share any services or anything at all with, with Roxbury? Uh, the only thing, we send our kids to high school there. Mm -hmm. That's it. Roxbury has not always been the most uh, open to sharing community. We share it with everybody else. We share our health care with Mount Olive. We share our construction office with Jefferson. We share our courts with six, uh, six towns now. It was five. We were the first five-town court to be set up, and, and we were in Morris County, and it was the first biggest in the state. So I'm not a, 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 at all opposed to sharing. I'm all about sharing. Would you share with another community as opposed to Roxbury? Um, I, or consolidate? Roxbury, would you consolidate with another community? I, I don't believe there's a need to consolidate. I really mm -hmm. don't. We're running very, very efficient. You know, 60% of the towns in New Jersey are of my size. And I'll tell you, you can keep them efficient. You can keep things very efficient if you stay on top of things. When they say, you know, Gina's group says, you'd lower taxes if you did this. No, that is completely, and that's what sparked me to come on here, because that is not, not true at all. And unfortunately, maybe from a lay person, they may think that. But in all actuality, it, it's not the case. We are, Mount Arlington is the sixth lowest paying tax town in Morris County. That's out of 39 towns, we're the sixth lowest. What's your secret? Our secret is, cons is sharing. Our secret is being efficient, being monitoring every penny that's spent, having a great team. I have a great team, let me tell you. It's not just me. It's my council's running great right now. Our administration is fantastic. We monitor everything that goes on. That's how you be efficient. But people do say, you know, sometimes when things get small, sometimes when things stay small, you get some personal grudges and things going on. You do have, you're running for re-election right now. Right. Your opponent has accused, the, you know, the, 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 the government there essentially of, of not being open-minded to her points of view. This is a tough race. I mean, there's politics certainly involved in all of what goes on in a re-election campaign. But, but for those who say, you know, when you get a little bit bigger, you, you strip some of that uh, personal stuff out of there. Well, you know what? It's not about just money. It's about your services and the amount of service that you get and the kind of service you get. We went through an exercise last year with our police. We looked at Roxbury and we were contemplating doing something with Roxbury. I wasn't in favor. My opponent, actually, who's running against me now, was in favor of looking at merging or sharing with Roxbury. Well, we went through the exercise. We found out we were going to go from a 16-man fully operational police department, no problems at all, to two guys in two loops coming through Mount Arlington once in a while, and it was going to save about $100 a year on your taxes. Everybody said, wait a minute. Look at this service you're going to lose. Right now, we have our police respond within a minute, you call them. They're there. They're first responders. They take care of everything. They call in the rig if they need it. So Don't you're saying it would, it would actually cut some of these services you already have. We have to leave it there, oh. but you, you do have some more, uh, you have reports coming up on this and, some, and possibly some 
groups to be commissioned. Well, actually, no. I'm hoping it doesn't get to that point because it doesn't make sense. Okay. I mean, we it, it, you take a town in Mount Arlington, move it to Roxbury, you're going to pay a thousand dollars more. Hmm. Now, if there's so any you, kind so of a you consolidation, want it to die, you want this I want it to die on the vine right now. It doesn't make sense. Art, we have it's going to cost us more money. We have to leave it there. We'll continue this conversation. Right. Art Andish, thanks very much, sir. Thank you.